trees, the sound of God's trumpet, and the Lord himself will come down from heaven. So when Jesus comes, it will not be a quiet thing. He says God's trumpet will sound. And you know the trumpet is a far-reaching instrument. Blow it, and the sound goes far, far. It's one of the loudest brass instruments. It says God's trumpet will sound, and everybody will be alerted. Everybody will know that Jesus has come. He says when that happens, the Lord himself will come from heaven. Jesus will come from heaven. And those who have died believing in Christ will rise to life first. Then we who are living at that time will be gathered up along with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So Jesus will come in the clouds and we will meet with him in the air. And so we will always will, will, will always be with the Lord. And St. Paul says, let's encourage each other with these words. So it will not be a quiet thing. He will come. He will gather us. And those of us who believe in him, the scriptures say, will be with him. So that's a passage of scripture which tells us about the Lord's coming. I want to look at another passage. And in fact, that passage is the gospel for today. It also talks about the coming of Jesus Christ. And that's in Matthew's gospel chapter 24, verses 36 to 44. He says, no one knows, however, when that day and hour will come. None of us will know when Christ will come. The time for his coming is not specified. The time of, for his coming is not known to us. And listen, it is not known to even the angels. It is not known to even Jesus Christ himself. Listen to what the scripture says. Neither the angels in heaven, nor the Son of Man, that is God himself, Jesus himself, does not know. We are told that the only person who will know when Christ will come will be God. He says, only the Father knows. Only the Father knows. He says, the coming of the Son of Man will be like what happened in the time of Noah. In the days before the flood, people ate and drank, men and women married up, Married, up to the very day Noah went into the boat. Yet they did not realize what was happening until the flood came and swept them all away. He says that is how it will be when the Son of Man comes. Noah's people were real sinners. Noah's people believed in enjoyment. Noah's people kept on enjoying themselves even when Noah was telling them, God is coming to destroy the world. God has asked me to build this ark. It is going to happen. But they didn't listen. They went on doing evil things. They went on enjoying themselves. Even up to the day that Noah went into the boat, they were there enjoying themselves until the floods came and swept them all away. He says the coming of the Lord 
will be like that. When Jesus comes, those of us who have not listened to him, those who have not listened to the warnings that are given to us as Christians, those who feel that we can just do what we want to do, those who feel that there is no need to change our lifestyle from bad to good, he says, we will be wiped away just as the flood wiped away the people. He says, that is how it will be. He says, at that time, two men will be walking in the field. One will be taken away. The other will be left behind. Yes, those who believe in God, those who believe in God's word, those who are obedient to God's word, those who live Christian lives, those who live the life that God wants us to live, they will be saved. Those who do not will be wiped away. He says it will be like two men walking in the field. One will be taken away, the other left behind. Oh, he says it will also be like two women walking at the meal grinding meal one will be taken away the other will be left behind friends there is a chance for you and me who will be obedient to God there is a chance to be saved there is a chance he says when Christ comes those who will have been obeyed God will be saved. Those who will not obey God will not be saved. He says, be on your guard then because you do not know what day our Lord will come. Be on your guard. Don't wait until last time. Don't wait until Jesus comes. Because when Jesus come, comes, you will not have time to make last minute preparations. Some of us have things to do and we will not do them at the right time. We will wait until the last minute and then we will begin to rush up hoping that we will do the things correctly. But the scriptures say no. It will not be like that. When the Son of Man comes, you will not have time. You will not have time to prepare. You will not have time to say to him, oh, wait, wait. He says, no. Therefore, he says, be ready. And the scripture says, if the owner of the house knew the time when the thief would come, you can be sure that he would stay awake and not let the thief break into the house. So then, you also must always be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you're not expecting him. Under normal circumstances, if we know when the thief will come to our houses, oh, we will prepare. We'll prepare to face the thief. He might kill us, but we'll make an attempt. But if we don't know, then the thief will come. Oh, and he will take away what we have. And that is what will happen to us. The thief here is Satan. If we don't guard ourselves against Satan, if we allow Satan to come in, he will take away what belongs to us. He will take away the glory of God from us. He will take away all what belongs to us and what should save us. So he says, let's be prepared so that Satan does not take us so that on that day, we don't go Satan's way. So that on that day, we go with the Lord who will come. The last passage I wanted us to look at about the coming.